welcome to the new video tutorial guys this is me Ron and you are welcome to this channel in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to link list box with database in C sharp and show value in text box that you can see in the text box if select list box before watching this video tutorial you must watch the video named how to insert delete update in view data in grid view there are four video in there in this title these all video provide you the basic knowledge of how to insert delete update and view data in your application from the database and also i am continuing this video from the past video tutorial now if you are watching this video and you are come to my channel for the very first time please do subscribe for subscription you have to click the red subscribe button just below the video title now let's reason the project go back to the project in which we have done insert delete update in view Now click on the file open and then project. And this is the past video tutorial project in which I have created this form containing four labels for text box for button and on view view now drag on list box and drop over here now go to the form section and write on function write on query Click all from the table name. Go to your table name. We have just we have already created the database and the table name project. Yeah. You should watch the previous video, otherwise you cannot understand this video. This is the connection which connect your this application with the SQL Server database. SQL command cm is equal to new SQL command. Here goes the parameter query. Comma conduct active.
SQL data adapter my reader sorry SQL data reader this This code is used for defining a variable name my reader. Try this try and catch it will handle method. Con dot active my reader is equal to cmd dot Execute reader. So my reader variable stores the data from the stores the data that I stored from the query. You can see. Do while loop to read all the data from the database. The string as name is equal to my reader dot get string. Here goes the index. If you want to show the name, you should give the index 1. If you want to show the roll number, you should give the index 0 and so on. I want to display the name, so I am giving the index 1. Next box one dot item dot add the name also added in the next box item. Now save now call this function. the initialization of this form now run the project enter from either here Message box dot so save and run. Here you can see that. Oh, it's the only one data, but we have two data. Here it should because it should two data, but only one is visible because the rule number two have no name, so only one data is shown. Now, if you want to make the program. Mm -hmm that when you double click over here the roll number and name address and email should appear in the text box so to do this 
to the program. Double click over here. Connection con is equal to new connection. Brighton SQL query string S SQL is equal to select all from table name. Our table name is project where name is equal to each of the condition double quotes inside the double quotes inside the two single quotes two double quotes inside two single double quotes two plus list box one dot text SQL command cmd is equal to new SQL command parameters are SQL conduct active bond right Con dot active con my reader oh S SQL My reader is equal to cmd dot execute reader. Now loop read all the files from the database. Define on variable that is to the rule number. My my reader dot get int because rule number is integer and the index is zero dot to string. Because the rule number is string variable type and the rule number that is stored in the database is integer type, so we have to convert to the string now scope string name is equal to my reader dot get string. Index one simply copy index two and index three. name email entity are you okay index oh sorry is this and then email address and then email address and then email now we should pass the this uh, now we should pass the content of this 
variable to the text box so kxt rule number dot text is equal to rule number txt name dot text is equal to name txt address dot text is equal to ABD. txt ml dot text is equal to email catch exception ax message box dot so ax dot message now save now run the project and double click over here here you can see the rule number is only here associated with this name and the name is here it is here email is here now if you double click over here the only the rule number is in stone because the rule number is uh, because only the rule number is stored in the database there is no name associated with this rule number so Thank you guys for watching this video. If you think this video helps you in some extent, please subscribe this channel and like and share this video. If you have encountered some error related to this small button button project, please let me know. Comment your issue in the comment section below. Thank you once again. Bye bye.